what are probes in multisim and how do we use them? In order to demonstrate probes, I will use this simple circuit shown here. And let's verify KCL and KVL using probes. Okay. So given a circuit, there are you know, two primary measurements we want to make, that is current and voltage drops in different parts of the circuit. So let's say I first want to measure the current flowing through the resistor R1 from left to right. So I pick a current probe, put it right there, and then start simulation. And then I can see there is a current of 1.85 milliamps flowing from left to right through R1. Okay, so let's say I want to verify KCL at this node here in the center. So I want to measure the current in all the branches which are connected to that node. So let's take another probe. I'm going to put that there, another probe, and put that there. So I want to measure all the currents going into that node, right? So I want to measure the direction of the currents all going into that node. So I will right click, say, uh, let's reverse probe direction, and then right click reverse probe direction. So now I'm measuring the currents in all the three branches connected to the node and the direction of the current I'm measuring is going into that node. So let's start simulating this, okay? So let's see, so there's 1.85 milliamps. Let's see, the KCL says the sum of all currents going into that node should be zero, right? So let me open a simple calculator here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, there's 1.85, 1.85 uh, minus 0.923 milliamps, minus 0.923, and then minus another 0.923, so minus 0.923, and that should be almost close to zero. So the small error is because of the rounding effect, which I see here. Okay, so there is a, it's, uh, the, you know, it, since it's only displaying two decimal points after the, uh, two decimal points, so it's basically doing some rounding and this small error is, I think, is because of the rounding. So it's 0.004, you know, four is basically, you know, very small, very, very close to zero. So, uh, so basically I verified the, I verified the uh, KCL at that node, okay? So now let's see, let's, let's try to verify KVL. KVL says the sum of voltage drops around any loop should be zero, right? So let's take this loop set in the right-hand side, R2, R3, R4. And then I want to say, I want to measure all the voltage drops clockwise and see if the sum of the voltage drops is zero, okay? So if you see a probe here called differential voltage probe, so I click on that. So I'm remember, I want to measure all the voltage drops clockwise, right? So plus, y, minus. So that's a voltage drop from bottom to top across R3, R2. Okay, so click again, plus, minus. That's the voltage drop from left to right across R3. Okay, uh, let's see. I wanna, let's see if I can move the probe to label here just to make sure R3 is clear. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's from voltage drop from left to right across R3. Let's take another probe, plus, minus, okay? So this is a voltage drop from top to bottom across R4. So I have this all the voltage drops in clockwise in this right-hand loop, right? So the sum of all this voltage drops should again be zero according to KVL. So let me simulate this, open the calculator. Where'd that go? I think I closed it. Okay, sum of voltage stuff should be zero. Here it's minus 2.77. Oops, minus 2.77. Uh, then there is a voltage drop of 1.85 plus 1.85. There's another voltage drop of 0.923. Oh, sorry, nine. Oh, yeah, 0.923 volts. So plus 0.923. And that's again, you know, 0.003 is a small number. So basically the sum of voltage drops across, you know, in the clockwise in this loop is zero. Okay. And then again, so as an exercise, I would, you know, I would encourage you guys to build the circuit and maybe verify the KVL on the left-hand side loop. Okay. So that's how you use differential voltage probes. All right. So now, as you can see, I'm, whenever I'm measuring voltage drops, I'm always measuring between two points. 
okay there is no such thing as a voltage at a point unless there is a reference okay so for example this minus 2.77 is the voltage at this point in the bottom minus the voltage on the top okay so whenever you're measuring voltages you're always measuring differences all right but it, it's in many cases it will be convenient to say okay voltage at a certain point right in this case we have in those cases you have a common reference and that common reference is what we call ground okay so let's say I want to define voltages at different points on the circuit. So that means I need a ground in order to do that. So I go back again to my place component. So I go back to sources, power sources, ground. And then I'm going to put a ground there, right? What that means is now, I'm by definition, I'm saying the voltage at this point here, in this wire, is zero. Then at any other point, so let's say a voltage at this point in the center point would be voltage at that point minus the voltage here. And this since this is zero, I can just define the voltage at that point, right? So once you have a ground, this using the voltage probe now makes sense, right? So now I can put, let's say if I want to put voltage, one voltage probe over there, another over there, another over there. And then now I simulate this. Now, so this 2.77 means the voltage at this point minus the voltage at that point. 923 millivolts or 0.923 volts means the voltage at this point minus the voltage at this point right and this is zero and that is why you can just say the voltage at that point is 0.923 volts provided this is zero okay so again remember voltages are always measured as differences when we were when we are talking about voltages at different points on the circuit we are always referring to the ground okay so that's how you use probes in multisim